Jeff Dirk with We Are Change Connecticut. We're out here at the 2014 Liberty Forum out here in New Hampshire, and we just wrapped up with this speaker. He just wrapped up his presentation about Tor and how people could use it. You mind introducing yourself and tell us, uh, you know, uh, your thoughts on the conference and why you're out here? Uh, hello, I'm Daniel Krawitz. Well, right now I'm trying to teach the Liberty Movement that they need to understand the works of the cypherpunks. This, this is a glorious libertarian tradition that has yet to be integrated very well into the rest of the libertarian world. Everybody's really excited about Bitcoin now, but there's really a whole, a whole lot of ideas that were posted in the cypherpunk mailing list that really are not well known yet, that, that were built, Bitcoin is built on all of these, but libertarians really need to understand how Bitcoin works. Um, anyway, that's, that's what I'm trying to teach people today. So just a brief background on how you got involved in with computer programming, um, stuff like that involving Tor. Uh, just kind of a brief background uh, and then now how you got started with spreading this information to other people like people at this conference. Right, well, um, well I first started, the, my first programming language was BASIC, that was when I was six or seven or something. Uh, my next one was the TI-85 calculator in high school. Uh, I, I spent some time in graduate school as a physicist but then I, I realized that I might need to be employed somewhere, so I, I switched to software engineering. Um, the, the crypto anarchy stuff, it's, it's really just the most important thing for the liberty movement right now, and I would have got into it regardless of you know, what, what else I was doing. It, it's, it's, just, it's just the most important thing, so everybody should be doing it, whether or not you're a software engineer. <laughs> Basically, you did actually a really good speech on how basically the rundown of Tor and how it works. Um, for people who may not know about it, maybe just a general um, definition of what it is and kind of the tools, advice for people who want to use it for encryption on, you know, to protect their uh, IP address. Right, uh, Right. so yes, so Tor is good for anonymity. Um, it, it, uh, it puts you in a position where you voluntarily give up your, your identity. Um, well, it, it, it is, um, it's, a, it's a network of computers that spans the world and when you connect to it, all of your web requests are uh, routed through th at least three intermediate points. And uh, by the time it, it reaches the server, um, all traces of your IP address are hidden. Uh, the NSA can take over some of these computers without risking anybody uh, because the odds you would have to randomly choose all NSA computers in order to be de-anonymized and even still you know it's not a targeted attack so uh, you're a lot safer for that reason as well. Uh, uh, now Tor will not work for encrypted email or uh, well uh, there are just there are all sorts of other things that you might want to do with encryption Tor is just for anonymity so well so look into everything else too and basically too it seems like um, it's kind of changing the aspect of people getting involved in securing you know with the recent NSA revelations and how uh, people really want to protect themselves online and that's not just for the usual argument people say oh I got nothing to hide on the internet you know I'm not going to do anything wrong it's more of a general aspect of people want to secure themselves online from other people to access their private information right well yeah well um, you know you you should you should own you should own your your identity you you should be in control of your technology um, you know there's there's no reason that you should have to give it up if you don't want to. Plus, it, when, when you use Tor for innocuous purposes, you're protecting people who really need that anonymity, like whistleblowers and, you know, activists in, in countries like China or, um, you know, or say Venezuela right now. If I were a Venezuelan, I would be using Tor for everything. And basically, just to wrap up here, um, where could people start kind of a brief intro on how to get Tor and yeah just kind of a setup for people to start using it and um, you know to and spread the information about it well just just go to torproject.org they have uh, 
They have all the information that you'll need. Uh, check the documentation and, and the blog, learn about how it works, and download the browser bundle. I would encourage everybody to go to our website, pressfreedomfoundation.org. You can learn more about these issues. You can learn how you can contribute to these great open source encryption projects uh, or contribute to us in a, in a variety of ways. Uh, get more informed, uh, share information. Well, with You cannot talk your way out of anything. You can only talk your way into something. So be mindful of the fact that everything you say can ultimately be turned on you. Third thing is that you have to be clear in that if you 